Life is simple. You're either qualified in submarines or you're not. I got asked the question, what about my nuclear power background applies to gunsmithing? And the honest answer is not Jack. Except for the fact that the atomic propulsion program really taught me how to learn and how to bite things down. Um, I showed up at my Navy recruiter's office two weeks after Ronald Reagan announced the 600 ship Navy and I got a 99 on the ASVAB. So there went my hopes of being a gunner's mate and it made me a nuclear electrician. Okay, so here we go. I wind up, this is a guy that was not allowed to take physics in high school because I wasn't allowed to screw up their vaunted physics program with my lack of academic capability. And you know something? I'm going to spot them that because I don't think they were too far off at that moment. Two and a half years later, I was standing on top of a Los Angeles class submarine sliding into James River at Newport News. But hey, who cares about that? The nuclear Navy taught me how to learn. And that's the best thing I ever did because what I know is meaningless. How I learn how to do it is everything. And that's what these videos are trying to push along to you folks is, is that, look, you can't afford to have me do a lot of this work and I don't have the time to do it, but you can do it. You can do it without thousands of dollars of high speed, low drag kit, and you can do it with basic skills. And all I'm doing is telling you guys where to start learning. And that's what the nuclear Navy taught me was where to begin learning. How do you do that? I taught myself how to be a gunsmith because I taught myself how to weld. I taught myself how to run a lathe, how to run a milling machine, how to woodwork. And, and when, when you're all said and done and that's all over with, I'm a average woodworker, a below average machinist. I'm horrible at welding, but I got an MP18 that runs and I'm just saying. 